Hey everybody, back at the gym. As you can see, I'm pressing up that uh, bench press right there. So that means it's chest, right? Oh, walking around, don't know why. But usually I start out chest day with about 100 push-ups, kind of get that stretch, whatnot. I didn't videotape that because uh, usually everybody knows how to do push-ups. And then I'd go straight to flat bench, which a lot of people, they'll go to incline, decline. Today, that I just felt like doing flat right at the beginning. What I do is I just would start out with 135, do a quick 10 to 12 reps, and then I would actually uh, rack it real quick, and then I throw 25s on there real quick, literally five second rest. Have have my spot help me out there, and then I just would push those out eight to ten reps if I could get there. Um, it depends on like lately my shoulders been giving me some heck, so. Eh. And then I would re I'd rack that up, and then boom, I'd put those 45s on there and do 225. Here I only got a couple times, but this was the last actual set because most of the time I had my spot there to help me out. And then I'd go from there to just flat with uh, dumbbells, which I love dumbbells over straight bar. I mean, it's so much better on your shoulders, and since I have a bad shoulder since I dislocated a while ago, it just it felt so much better. But here I did some confusion reps. What I, by confusion reps, I mean a lot of people do drop sets or even just ladder up, which I like to do too. But right here, this one is just kind of my confusion one altogether. I, what I would do was I'd start out with uh, 55s. As you can see right there, those are 55s. I'd press those up, do that a good 12 times or 10 times, whatever it was that I did. And then I'd go grab the 65s, push that up 10 to 12 times. I was going to go up to 75 and 70, but our actual dumbbells are busted right now at our gym, which kind of sucks. And then I would do that a quick 10 times. I'd drop that down and I'd go to the 60. Normally I'd go 55, 75, then back down to 65 to kind of do those confusion reps and basically just keep my chest thinking what's going to go on. And then I would go back into that, stay with the same weight that I finished with, which was in this case the 60s, and then I'd go back 65 and then 55 to push out. And by doing that, I'm just confusing my muscles and it's kind of like a ladder up, slide down type of thing. Um, this one, I just threw that, threw the weight off by just one rep in the middle. I would just mix it up. Here, I went into incline, which is great. I love incline. I love decline too. I did do some decline. I just didn't videotape it. I do not know why. But right here, um, I'm pushing up uh, only 50s. Like I said, that shoulder's been bugging me. Um, actually those might've been sixties at the beginning. Yeah. Sixties. And then I went into fifties, but when I switched, actually, if you can tell by looking at the video here, I moved it from a 45 degree down to a 30 degree angle, which then makes it instead of just working my straight up upper chest, I work a little bit of my mid too, which then just kind of, like I said, um, I like to confuse my muscle. I do chest twice a week. And this day actually is my confusion day where I kind of keep my muscle thinking, hey, what's going on and all that. But I love doing incline and decline. They're just like my favorite. And my favorite thing to do on chest day is flies. Everybody's all like, oh, I don't like flies. They can actually hurt your bench press and all that. Well, in my case, I'm not really going too much for strength right now. And I really haven't noticed that it hurts my strength when I do flies. And right here, I'm doing flies. As you can see, I love to get that nice little stretch pause and then go up um, these are lower flies coming up and right here and then I was actually super setting it with I don't know what you'd call the next thing it's where you grab a plate or, or 25 or 10 whatever it is and you, you press it is what you do you press in the middle and you tuck your elbows in and you press out and up actually a little bit and by doing that you're just basically getting that Grand Canyon right in between your titties you know what I mean? That's what I love. I love that feeling where you just keep that constant pump. And you feel that with this because you're keeping those elbows tucked in and you're just coming in and out, in and out. And as you can see, I'm struggling. This is my last set of the day and I'm super centering it. And then at the end, I'm doing 10 push-ups. And I'm doing, uh, in these push-ups, I'm pausing, doing them nice and slow and just making sure all that blood is just getting to those muscles, which everybody loves and like i said oh by the way if you're curious at the beginning of the video that's my dog caesar isn't he cute my my daughter helped me make that <laughs> and after that i went into abs um i did a couple crunches and actually some up down at upside down abs but i didn't videotape those i just did some that consisted of push-ups here as you can see i'm doing my push-ups which is because it's chest day 
But I always love doing some sort of abs or core at the end of my day. Or just even to start out the day too, I wake up, do some sit-ups. You know, work that core. You got to keep, I mean, use that core all the time. In this case, I loved it, love this workout because you press down and you're using your chest, but you're also flexing those abs and you get it nice and tight right there at the bottom. And then on my last one, I hold it, I pause in usually five to 10 seconds and then boom, I'm done. And then uh, I did some editing there because I tripped around while looking for the ab roller. <laughs> I found the ab roller and here, this one, it looks kind of sketchy, but it feels, I love it because it feels great when you stretch it all the way out there, especially on those lats because yesterday and the day before I did back and my lower back, it feels great. And then also when you come up, you're pinching, you're, you're flexing that whole core and it just feels completely amazing, especially on that interior serratus muscle, also on your lower abdomen. Bam, there's chest. Okay, so it wasn't like an intense workout. I liked it. It was actually pretty good. It got a pretty good pump. It was my confusion day. And by confusion, some people always ask me, what do you mean by confusion? Well, by confusion, I mean, okay, you're going to take your muscle, which basically is used to sometimes the same thing, day in, day out, same old thing. And that muscle gets kind of used to it. It gets into that repetition. It's just like, all right, I know what's coming. I know. And then you're just like, mm -mm, uh -uh, no. So basically what you're doing is you're confusing the heck out of the muscle. You're pushing, you're pushing, you're like, oh, oh, no, can't, no weight here. I'm going to put some more weight on there or I'm going to take some weight off. And you just basically push it out again. And a lot of people do drop sets to do that. Me, I, today I did my own little mix of it. I just love the way that it feels. And I love how you just get that nice pump, right? And the thing is, I mean, chest, everybody loves chest. I mean, that's the first thing that people ask you when they meet you. Yeah, man. Hey, 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 you. Hey, bro. How much can you bench? How much can you bench? Uh, yeah, I mean, some people, I mean, you can say, hey, I'm amazing at bench. Like, I've, I've met a guy, who, I mean, he's just like south of four plates and whatnot, or, or can lift, do four plates. Me, most I've done is, what, three plates and a 25, um, which is, I mean, it's decent. Uh, but I've always tried to do a little bit better, <laughs> but now that I have a busted up shoulder, uh, it might be a while actually, but I mean, Hey, everybody can do whatever they want to do, right? This is all just a little bit of advice that I'm trying to give you to help you out. And also, I mean, like everybody has their own way of doing things. I mean, if you are getting great results without, you know, um, like me, I don't like maxing out. Um, I really don't. That's one reason I've only, like I said, I only got a uh, three plates in 25. I just don't like max out. Some people love it every week. And if you're getting good results doing that, keep it up. I mean, that's great. Me, not so much. I don't, I just don't find the results from doing that. Um, I haven't done it enough to, I guess, see. But um, right now, I'm getting great results with what I'm doing. And like me, I'm going more for physique right now. I'm really trying to chisel that chest up, make it look nice for my competitions. And I just, like everybody, to each its own. If you if you have great things going there, you do that. And you know what? I'm going to do what I do, and you do what you do. But if you get great results with what I can do, that's what I'm here to help you with. I'm here to show you what I do to get my results, to get my body, and to get my you know strength gains and all that. And if I can help you with that, great. You know what, everybody? I think that's it. So everybody out there, have a wonderful day and be ambitious.